Well, hello world and hi there every pony. This is Maya Sundermeyer and I'd like to welcome you to uh, my uh, very special My Little Pony Friendship is Magic edition of my blogs uh, it, of uh, Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer and um, in this episode I am going to go into uh, the depth and details of Season 4, Episode 3, Castlemania. As a small recap, uh, Twilight Sparkle and her assistant Spike receive a letter from Princess Celestia to go and uh, do research on a uh, on a small lockbox that she and her friends receive after having to give up their elements of harmony to destroy the plunder plants that were planted by a Discord desc decades ago before he was reformed to uh, prevent Harmony from existing. And uh, so she decides to do a little research about it and can't find anything about it in Ponyville. So she ends up getting a letter from her uh, teacher and mentor, uh, Princess Celestia, to go study in the ancient castle ruins that were destroyed by Nightmare Moon after Luna grew jealous and angry of her sister and wanted to gain power and was banished to the moon. And so Twilight goes to the old castle and discovers that there is a library of ancient books for her to read all about uh, the Tree of Harmony and uh, the mysterious chest, as she calls it, but I prefer to call it a lockbox. And it's while she and Spike are studying there that uh, four of her friends uh, appear to walk in there for different reasons. Rarity and Fluttershy go there to get a tapestry, and Rainbow Dash and Applejack uh, go there to be to see who is the most, who is the toughest mare uh, among her among the friends. And uh, they very quickly uh, discover that there are all kinds of movements and all kinds of noises, and they think that it is the Pony of Shadows, and they start very quickly freaking each other out. So, here are the reviews. Okay. Uh, what I liked about, season, about this uh, particular episode was we had Applejack and Rainbow Dash uh, staring each other down with all kinds of bees all over their body to see who can keep the bees on their body the longest without freaking out? Because as we know, bees uh, do, uh, do not have a nice uh, feeling if uh, you get them mad. And um, I thought that was a scene that I would never in my life have thought that the creators would put into a uh, My Little Pony show. But... Um, I know we know that Rainbow Dash and Applejack have always uh, wanted to compete to see who's faster and who's more athletic and who's toughest. And I also noticed that uh, when uh, they had to remove the bees that they weren't as tough as you thought because they were wearing bee-keeping suits. And that, to me, made me realize that um, in their mind they think they're tough, but they're not, they're not like you think. Um, and of course, when they go to the castle, um, some, some of their, uh, uh, they go to the castle, some of their body languages also help them understand, show them that, show you that they're not as tough as they look. For instance, App, uh, while Applejack is walking down a, um, old set of stone stairs, uh, Rainbow Dash, uh, kind of taunts her, and she's hovering slowly down the middle of the, the old uh, uh, curly Q stair staircase. And then when they get to the bottom, uh, we see Rainbow Dash get scared, and she put, covers her eyes with her wings, and she keeps, and when she's walking, she, she keeps uh, them uh, half open like this. Um, other things that I liked about the show were... Uh, Rarity seemed to have more spunk this time, and I hadn't seen her have that much spunk since season one uh, with her when she was captured by the Diamond Dogs when she told them, 
I'm not whining. I'm complaining. Do you want to hear whining? This is whining. Or when uh, she um, had a flashback about her being a little filly right before she earned her cutie mark. And uh, she looks at the rock and, uh, and exclaims, A rock? That's my destiny? What is your problem, horn? And in comparison to uh, this recent episode, she uh, is outside of the castle and she says, All right, castle, um, you may be very old and very scary, but you need, your decor needs more improvement. And um, if that wasn't enough, we see her having debris all over her mane, which is something that Miss Rarity would never, ever approve of. Um, and then when and then when she gets so scared, she ends up having a piece of a tapestry on her, and she's running around all over the place, thinking that she's being tortured by the, this pony of shadows. Um, other things that were really cool is that while the uh, girls were running around scared of each other, we you know, uh, unaware that uh, they were there the entire time, they keep hearing someone downstairs playing this old organ. And uh, and sometimes when uh, when certain keys on the organ are pressed, uh, it opens trap doors, and um, that in itself scares uh, some of the ponies. For instance, when one key is pushed, um, Applejack, who is against the wall, is for is uh, leaning against um, a known trap door, and she goes outside, and she's sent outside where uh, she's over the ledge and she sees this giant dragon statue and then she freaks out and then that key is pushed again and she's back inside and she just she shakes and um, she sounds like Donald Duck and um, I thought that was uh, pretty funny I honestly have to say I have not laughed at uh, the at a My Little Ponies, Pony episode so hard in my life now I normally would have laughed uh, super hard at Pinkie Pie for maybe two to three minutes because um, she happens to jump in there and say something or do something that you would least expect. And, um, and so I didn't think the creators had it in them to uh, make, me laugh, make, make you laugh super hard. Um, other things that I'd like to talk about are that um, a lot of the, the Brony fans are are comparing this episode to an old Scooby-Doo TV show. And, um, and from my perceptions and my point of view, I don't really see Scooby-Doo. I more see a see the uh, new, um, see an episode from The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which was popular in the 90s and I used to watch them all the time as a kid. And I have to say that um, Rarity reminded me of Rabbit and um, Fluttershy was like Piglet. Um, I would say that uh, Rainbow Dash and Applejack sort of acted like a couple of Winnie the Poohs. And we had Pinkie Pie, who kind of act reminded me of Tigger. Uh, I also thought, knew in my mind, that Pinkie Pie was uh, playing that organ because... Um, it made sense that uh, she would because, one, Pinkie Pie is um, a savant at playing an organ. And the other reason, too, is because uh, she wasn't among her friends running around the castle screaming, figuring out how to get away from the Pony of Shadows. Um, other thing, f uh, and before I close, other things that uh, were great were uh, the body language. Like when... Uh, Twilight Sparkle discovered her friends, and they were scaring each other all night. And and they heard the organ, and Spike uh, started shivering. And he said, "Well, who's playing that?" And Twilight says, "Well, let's find out." And uh, all of her friends cling to her, and they walk downstairs, and they you know, they get they stay behind uh, Twilight, still shivering, until she's able to. Uh, pull off the mask and discover that the um, 
pony behind the scenes it was Pinkie Pie all along. Um, uh, what else? Oh, before I go, this has nothing to do with the show. I uh, have a Pinkie Pie personality, and I was able to uh, laugh at myself at and compare myself to Pinkie Pie this time. And especially when she boasted about being super excited about playing uh, the, uh, or ringing the school bell. And uh, I was like that at the age of 15 through 22. I would get super excited over things that nobody else would get excited about. For instance, oh, I said that when I turned uh, 17, I was going to be excited about uh, doing a blood drive. And I jumped all over the place and my attitude was, Yay! I'm happy! I get to give blood this year! I turned 17! Um, and then when I didn't give, when I couldn't give the blood, I started referring to some of the posters advertising the uh, blood drives. Like, there was one of Kenny from South Park that was dead, and he had blood all over the place, and the, um, the poster said, Save Kenny, and I said, I wanted to save Kenny! There's no reason for this! So, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Uh, before I go, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and also be sure to uh, leave your comments below about my reviews. Bye!